Elite CSD 300 electric chain motor installation for skylight window. What is in the box? Electric motor with window connector. Window connector. Receiver AC 22703. Remote control, transmitter. Instruction. Bracket made from metal sheet to fit window application, original didn't fit correctly. Remove skylight window screen. Remove crank handle from mechanical window lift. Remove mechanical lift cover. Remove mechanical lift. Unscrew the nut, remove the pin from window connector and free window bracket. Connector pin. Window bracket. Install window bracket to the window sash using stainless steel or outdoor rated screws. Install, made to fit, motor support brackets. The appearance of an electric motor. Motor support bracket attachment points, cable side. Motor support bracket attachment points. Made to fit, brackets installed. Lift the motor to the window sash bracket. Insert motor window connector into the bracket and install connector pin. Screw the nut on the pin. Using stainless steel or outdoor rated screws, secure motor to the window frame. Remove receiver front cover to access screws. Receiver parts. Receiver body. Junction box. Front cover. Assembly screws. Receiver AC 22703 connection terminals. Ground terminal. Neutral terminal. Line, hot. Terminal. DC motor terminals Antenna Install receiver. Because window opener can be reached from the floor, receiver is installed below the skylight frame.
receiver can be also installed near the room switch and wire from the motor can be extended. If only remote control, transmitter, will be used, then receiver can be installed as shown, in high located window. Open knockout on the back of the junction box. Drill opening for motor cable entry on the top of receiver junction box. Mark the hole on the wall for feeder cable. Insert approved wire connector for feeder cable on the back of the junction box. Drill wider hole in the sheetrock to fit cable connector. Drill at least one half inch wide hole for feeder cable to be pulled through. Using the cable snake pull the cable through the hole. Feeder cable can be taken from any house lighting circuit. The cable must have same gauge, AWG, as lighting circuit as wired. In this installation cable 14, 2 Romex is pulled from attic crawl space. Insert cable into connector. Secure receiver junction box to the wall. Strip feeder cable jacket. Trim motor cable for desired length and strip cable jacket, not less than 6 inches. Insert motor cable into drilled opening. Support cable within 12 inches from the motor and junction box. Trim all wires for needful length, not less than 6 inches. Strip ends of all wires about 1 half of inch. Terminate the motor cable wires to the receiver DC motor terminals. To change motor run direction, up or down, swap motor leads termination. To change motor direction after installation follow instruction supplied with receiver. Feeder cable terminal wiring. Terminate white, neutral, conductor to N, neutral, terminal. Terminate bare, ground, conductor to E, earth, terminal. Terminate black, hot, conductor to L, live, terminal. Secure receiver body to the junction box. Install receiver front cover. Turn the power off and energize the skylight window opener by terminating feeder cable to lighting circuit. Restore the power and test the window opener. Direction of the motor run can be changed by pressing buttons combination on the receiver. Follow the instruction supplied with receiver. Also test remote control for proper operation.
fit existing mechanical window lift cover to new installation. Mark the cut for new cover fit. Using snips, cut the cover as was marked for new fit. Cut for window motor connector. Cut for motor body. Cut notch for motor cable. Notched cover ready to be installed. Install top cover to hide motor. Cover cut to fit window connector. Install front cover. Using screws, secure the front cover. Install skylight window screen. Test motorized window for operation. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.